Hey folks, everything new under the sun. We're going to take a look at this Timber Tough chainsaw mill after the jump. Uh, we're going to get into it, unbox it, and I'm uh, going to give my initial opinion on it. All right. Well, that's not what I want. This is what I want here. So I apologize for the uh, lower quality video. I'm just using my webcam. But this is a Timber Tough uh, uh, chainsaw mill. I got it off Amazon. I think I got it for 50 bucks. Like it, it's uh, dirt, dirt cheap. Um, for it. this is like the cheapest mill you can get. There is a more expensive kind of brand name um, mill you can get. But look at this. This is a tiny box. It just goes on your chainsaw and allows you to get square beams pretty much you can do some planking some dimensional lumber work with it it's not really meant for that though it's kind of more meant for uh rough cut um you know four by four six by six uh, beams in general um it's and this is a bit of a teaser because i plan to make uh, a fireplace mantle as part of a christmas present but we're going to open it up here so when you open it up um you get well you get your manual which is just a uh, printed piece of paper just to take a look at it real quick here so Let's see, lumber cutting guide owner's manual, and it kind of shows you an image of the how the chainsaw works there. And literally, it's it's just pretty basic. There's warranty. Um, you can put safety rules, personal safety work area, and it uh, you know has the has the parts list. That's a well and good. I don't think any of us care with that. But what you get in the box is the mill itself. I'm gonna take this out, and you get a few brackets. You get this you get this other bracket here. Um, I don't even know. What the, oh. That's keyed out because of my uh, green screen. This is going to be keyed out as well. Oh, oh well. You get the you get the idea there. Let me if I let's see if I mute. No, that's not going to work either. That's going to key it out. Anyways, um, you can see uh, what it looks like generally, even though the the shadows are not ideal. Basically, you you uh, pinch your uh, chainsaw blade in there, and you run this along a two by six, uh, two by four, and you can cut uh, pretty square logs now if you watch my video about um, how to make a uh, what did I call it a handmade hearth uh, fireplace I cut out of I cut freehand with my chains out of a chunk of um, hardwood maple and it worked pretty well although it wasn't square by any stretch the 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 the, the, uh, the edges the angles were not square at all this allows you to get 90 degree square angles and um, and it comes with a bunch of nuts and bolts and Allen key um, so that you can basically put the bolts in here and you pinch your chainsaw. I'm going to do an install video, um, but I'm not going to do that right now. It's 10 below. Um, but this is cast iron. This is this. I was worried about this because um, the bolts go in here and pinch, uh, pinch your chainsaw bar. And I was worried about this kind of spreading as you uh, tighten it up. May spread a little, may flex a bit, but it's pretty heavy duty. It's it. It looks like um, cast iron to me, so that should be uh, fair uh, quite well. Um, you know the bearings. I don't. I I don't know if there's ball bearings in it or not. It might just be on metal. Um, I don't know that it matters particular particularly. Um, I did think this came with uh, cleats, um, so that when you move it ahead, it uh, grabs on the wood and allows you to cut. I don't see any cleats there, but maybe that's what these holes are for. I I don't know 100%. Um, but it's powder coated otherwise green powder coat and that's why it's being keyed out um, there uh, looks it's it's super basic but like I say it allows you to get um, it allows you to get the right angle corners and to start your start your log I don't even think honestly um, you have to necessarily put uh, two by fours um, on either end of it you just put a, a nice straight two by four on the top screw it down look down the end of it so that you can see it's nice and straight and uh, and square it's not it's not twisted you want to get a 2x4 that's not twisted to start with a 2x6 would even be better because it's going to be um, lengthwise it's going to be uh, stronger generally and and uh, prevent warping as you move along it with the with the chainsaw guide here but I have some big plans I'm going to make a mantle with it um, and uh, maybe even try and build a just a mini log cabin just just for the fun I think that would be an incredible project although that would take quite a number of, uh, of logs to do and uh, currently I'm basically I get eight foot uh, eight foot length uh, firewood hardwood and I generally take a couple of pieces of my firewood uh, that I, I would otherwise burn and uh, make some stuff out of it like I did with the uh, with the uh, handmade hearth um, 
to make a cabin, I probably need like four cords all just to make the cabin just to, for the logs. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do there. Um, I have a few options. But this guy here is enough to do an incredible amount. Uh, yes, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit rougher uh, with the with what I'm doing. Um, but I think it should allow me to really take um, the chainsaw wood furniture hobby uh, to the next level and uh, make some really cool furniture. Um, it's it's going to be rough cut, but then you just get your your uh, your jack plane and you plane it down. Do a little bit of sanding and you're good to go. I mean, I'm not making super fine, uh, fancy, finished carpentry furniture. Um, I'm just interested in doing some, uh, making some of my own stuff. And, and half the fun in living on this world is, is is making things. And, you know, we're made in the image of God. So maybe it's natural that we want to build and make things that are uh, beautiful, at least in our own eyes. So anyways, that's your unbox of the Timber Tough Chainsaw Mill. And I will be doing um, a complete install video. I'll get to that. This is kind of a, a teaser slash intro to um, what will be a new series on um, uh, well, chainsaw lumber creation, I guess. The chainsaw dimensional lumber creation. So stay tuned for that on my channel. Um, I hope to have lots of homestead-ish videos coming up. I'm not just a pure prophecy channel. I know a lot of people are here for prophecy, but I really enjoy the homestead stuff too. So I think this will really add to it. You can get this on Amazon.com for, I think it was $50. It was really, really cheap. And like I say, this will allow you to get the square beams. Really simplify the whole process. I'll probably get a ripper chain for my chain. So that's the other thing that you should get um, so that you can actually uh, rip it faster. A regular kind of wood cutting chain uh, isn't very fast when you're trying to rip lengthwise down. Uh, a beam but I'll show you that in that video and uh, maybe if a warm day comes up maybe I'll, I'll do an install video it's about minus 10 out like I said today so I won't be getting to it but anyways um, that is it let me uh, let me show you the box this is this is the box it's pretty small um, let's see yeah it's, it looks the same either either way but there you go attaches to most chainsaws to cut up to two inch and six inch boards that you can use underneath it to slide along Quick and easy assembly, durable powder coated steel construction. And uh, there you can see the dimensions there. Cut your own lumber, cut your own lo logs into clean lumber. Compact, easy to transport, it is absolutely con uh, compact for sure. It's really a really good size uh, form factor. Heavy duty steel with uh, heavy use and wear, durable powder coated. Yes, save money by being your own sawmill. This isn't going to build you a whole house, uh, but this is going to allow you to make some pretty cool projects, I think, pretty impressive projects that people will look, look at and say, wow, how'd you do that? And my first thing to build is a mantle, which is just going to be a basically a square beam um, that we can fancy up and uh, have a bit of a hearth, a uh, fire, uh, fireplace hearth. There you can see, where, where you can see, there you can see an image of it. Oh, it's, it's keying that out as well. Oh, there we go. There you can see a, a picture of what it what it looks like there. And uh, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave it there. A bit of a teaser for the next video. Stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.